So let's simulate the connection between two switches. One thing I forgot to tell you in the last video was that uh, the connection between PC and switch, uh, if you noticed, we are using the straight cables right here. But uh, we, in connection between PC to PC, we was using copper cro crossover uh, cables. So let me create two other computers and one more switch so we can simulate the connection between two switches so um, before doing that let's go to the physical tab I'm gonna show you how we can work with the physical tab so this city I don't think we need it let's delete it and go go into the city this building as well we don't need it in the first building you can see now that I have uh, one computer over here all right if I open up the closet you can see two computers are here both of uh, both of the switches are in one rack so in this simulation let's assume that we're gonna we have a uh, a bunch of computer in this room that are connected to the first switch and we have a bunch of computer in this room that have the other switch so uh, first of all I want to create a main wiring closet so main wiring closet is this one here wiring closet created and um, the PC 2 and 3 gonna be in wiring closet the second wiring closet let's say okay let's go for moving them we use the uh, I think it's navigation or physical location tab okay so here are the new wiring closet we created so PC3 and PC2 gonna be in this um, wiring closet and the second switch switch one that we created gonna be in this wiring closet as well and we need a rack so to create a rack let's go here create new rack and let's take our switch to the rack all right now let's go back and take the other computer that is not inside the wiring closet also put it in the wiring closet now these two have a um, different wiring closet and they are in both in the two different rooms. Um, it's not going to have any effect on the and these parts because it's all wired up but in the wireless connections uh, we, you can s clearly see the uh, signal strength that uh, in the distance is uh, so affect the strength of the signal so uh, let's wire up the computers and the switch and um, for computer to switch we use the straight cables but for switch to switch again we use copper crossover cables if I connect that you can see it see crossover cables so it is red right now because uh, it needs a little bit of time to connect so in that time in, in the meanwhile we are going to uh, give IP address to these two so let's say the IP address here is 192 168 1 let's say 20 And this is going to be 21. Okay, the lights are green now and the IP address has been set. It means that now we can communicate between these computers. So let's send, um, let's get ping first. Get ping from the first computer that was. 192 168 1 
10. Okay, you can see it's giving me ping and uh, these two are communicating and let's send the packet now from this one to this one. Go to the simulation mode, sending the packet, okay, from PC3 to switch 1, from switch 1 to switch 0, and from switch 0 to PC1. Then goes all back all the way back to the PC3 again. Alright, so it has been successful and uh, I will delete this scenario. Alright, you can. F uh, I've saved the, the file for the Cisco Packet Tracer and put it in the description, a link to the description. You can download the project file for this video and for all of other videos that are in the uh, playlist. So make sure to like and subscribe because it's going to help the channel and me a lot. Thank you. Bye bye.